So welcome to the seven day press up challenge. So you have five exercises and each exercise is simply five reps. And the idea of the challenge is to concentrate on just doing five reps of each of the five exercises. How you can make it more difficult for yourself is go slower and go a bigger range of motion. So I'm not looking for you to increase the number of reps, I'm looking for you to increase the range of motion, the control, nice slow speed, and obviously, if you can, reduce the recovery time between the exercises, so you go straight through, ideally. So there are five exercises. Exercise number one of the press-up, ideally done off your knees, is basically the full press-up with the hands just about a shoulder width wide. So the hands, the shoulder width wide, bring your body off the floor, feet together, bring your shoulders over your hands, and then simply bend your arms, chin to the floor, and push out. So we'll do one there. That's two, it's three, four, and one more, five. Then drop on your knees, bend your knees, and that is variation number one. Number two is exactly the same. Bring your hands from a shoulder width to wider. So from here, so a bit wider still, Bring your knees off the floor, shoulders over the hands, and off we go for five. So one, two, three, four, five. That's exercise number two. Exercise number three is a difficult one. Be really, really careful of this. If you don't want to do it, then I would say simply do a narrow press-up. But ideally, I'd like you to do the press-up on the knuckles, where you have your hands closed and tuck your thumb on the outside. Then place your hands on the front two knuckles and you must hold your hands tight for the sake of your wrist. About a shoulder width wide and then lift up and then from there we do five. So one, hold your hands tight, two, is three, otherwise you'll hurt your wrists. Four, one more, five. Good and relax. So that's exercise number three, variation three. Number four is the decline press-up, which is basically you're going to use a chair or maybe a sofa or a bed behind you and place the ball of your feet onto the chair, have your hands a shoulder width wide, not your knuckles, it's on your hands, and do five times. So place your hands down first, get close to your chair, put your ball of your foot on there, be careful, lift up, make sure your back doesn't arch too much, keep your tummy pulled in, shoulders over the hands, and then off we go. So there's one, good, and there's two, three, four, one more, five. And then come down carefully. Good. And that's exercise number four variation. And the fifth and final one of your five is the static hold. So normal full press up position, shoulder width wide, lower down to your chin or to the floor, hold the position for five seconds, push up, and we're doing five reps of five second holds. So hands about a shoulder width, knees off, shoulders over hands, and lower down. Holding down one, two, three, four, five, and push up. And then we go down. It's two, two, three, four, five, and push up. Breathe. Three, two, three, four, five, two to go, and four, two, three, four, five, and one last one is five, two, three, four, five, and push up. So there you have it. That's the press up challenge for seven days, and it's five exercises five reps of each, progress it by going quicker between the exercises, go slower, go more controlled, go lower, please remember to breathe and do the challenge and see how you get on. Thank you.